Time for another quick tip. Time for another quick tip for when you're making a character. 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 I don't really know why I'm doing the singing thing. Uh, I just felt like it. And we had so many quick tips about making characters. So, uh, yeah. I feel like we're finally getting over them. So maybe we can start moving on to some of the other quick tips. <sighs> Anyhow, this is actually a really good one, and I can't remember if we had it before or not. Maybe we have had it? Have had it? Is that a word? I don't really know if you say it like that or not. But um, if we have had this a quick tip, it doesn't really matter so much that I'm going to say it again, because it's still a really good quick tip, and also comes from a very good YouTube channel that you should check that out, but I'm gonna give the link afterwards, after the quick tip, because here it comes. To get into character, I like to give them a quick quirk that makes me feel like them at the moment. Thank you, Status LARP. That is, by the way, the LARP channel that you are supposed to check out because that is the channel that made this quick tip. Status LARP. Links in the description. Enough about that. Let's talk about this quick tip. Make a quick quirk. Make a quick quirk. Try saying that three times really fast. Make a quick quirk. Make a quick quirk. Make a quick quirk. <coughs> Making a quick quirk for your character to or for a character, for you helping yourself getting into character. Yeah, yeah, I would actually say that's a really, uh, it's a really simple and really beneficial. It's, uh, I don't know if I'm calling it an acting tip, but uh, it's definitely something you could do. I mean, like, it's your care. It could be, it could be anything. It could be anything simple. Or just add these small quirks to the character. Also, make it a little more lively. And we have sort of talked about it before, like characters having like pressured items like maybe they have a hat they pressure above everything or they have some weapons that are very specific or very customized to their character just the costume itself but having like a quick little slight uh, quirk to the character like a thing they do it could be them stroking their ear going like this every time they have to think this with their beard picking their nose could be a quirk I guess if they're wearing glasses like shove up um, your glasses like to make you look smarter smarter or take them down or it could be anything literally anything maybe the character's pants are falling off so he's always or she's always going like oh no my pants oh no or maybe they always tend to button off their shirt like in the wrong way like some of us do or when they sit down they just do the cowboy thing being like it's gonna take a nap here. Uh. A really good thing here is to have some sort of item that you can interact with, like, for instance, a hat, glasses, dagger, pants, shoes, belt, anything. Maybe they start talking to themselves. Maybe they think out loud. Maybe they just interrupt people. Maybe not make your quirk too annoying for other people and also for yourself. It should be a quirk that you can actually play on and it could be just a very small thing like swear words, facial uh, expression, expression with your hands. Like maybe they talk a lot with their hands when they're talking. Maybe when they're eating, they have their face all the way down to the plate. Or they are very, those very annoying people that, that sips right off the glass. Like instead of just like drinking like everybody else does. And they, they just go like. Oh yes, yes, and, and that is some good tea, sir. Could you just take a drink out of the cup, goddammit? We don't need to hear every time you were taking a sip out of the goddamn tea. Sorry, didn't, sorry, I think I went a little off track there. But it could also just be like something like maybe you are cleaning your weapons, anything. I mean, I've given tons of examples here, but you can probably figure out a lot more examples yourself. And let me just add one thing. If you are playing something with a really annoying quirk, it would be a really good idea to have somebody, if you don't want it to get too annoying for other people as well as yourself, have somebody else go around like with your character. So like you have like a ping pong between the characters and let the other guy be like, Oh, I'm sorry. He's he doesn't know what he's doing. That way people can actually be interested in it or you create an interest in that quirk your character has. Maybe he's like a barbarian so he doesn't know how to eat. So he eats everything with his fingers. 
uh, he doesn't know how to use a knife and a fork. So he just grabs everything and just go like <laughs> out in the entire face. Uh, and then the, he has this really good friend who is a little more civilized and he goes like, oh, I'm sorry guys. Um, he doesn't know how to eat with knife and fork. Um, we're trying to learn. We, isn't that right, uh, Billy Bob, the barbarian? You're trying to learn to eat with knife and fork. And he goes like, oh, yeah, sure, <laughs> knife. <laughs> And the friend is like, yeah, 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 you see, yeah. Even more annoying thing, like, I think the example was if a guy started to scream uh, by random things, uh, another guy could explain why he's screaming. That way you create a little more interest about what the heck is going on. And at the same time, you're not really annoying everybody out by it. Well, it's probably going to be annoying at some point for everybody, but... Um, not at the beginning. Anyhow, that was this week's quick tip. If you have any quick tips, tips and tricks, leave them down in the comment section below. You know the drill. And uh, then it's gonna pop up here in a video at some point, at some time, in a quick tip for other LARPers to see your little quick tip or advice about LARP for them to other LARPers so we can share all this with the rest of the world of LARPers. Whew. Anyway, I'm going to see LARPers later. And if you're going to see some of the things that I am going to build in the next couple of weeks or going to make in the next couple of weeks Go and follow me on Instagram because I do post pictures of it there when I start to dig it out from under all the stuff that I have And also sometimes post pictures of things that I make uh, Like through the whole process of how everything looks Also I've been fiddling a little around with live streaming so I might do some live streaming on some builds at some point and I'm going to announce that on Twitter and probably also Facebook if I do. I don't think it's going to be live streaming here on YouTube because at the moment it doesn't really fit this channel. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's it, Maybe it's going to be on Twitch. Maybe it's going to be on YouTube. Maybe it's going to be both places. I don't know. You're going to see. Anyway, if I do it, I'm going to post it on Twitter and Facebook and all those other places. Else... Like I said, I'm going to see you later. 